Okay, all, I'm back. I apologize in advance. I'm doing two different cooks. Not at the same time, but we're doing two entirely different recipes today. So if this gets mixed up with the peach slices, I do apologize. This is starting our canning series right now. And the first thing I did is I went to three different stores looking for the canning jars for our peach preserve jelly and finding, trying to find them, no one has them. Usually they can be found more in the springtime and I'm talking about the quart size jars. You're gonna want the quart size jars. Usually what I do when I make my jellies is I get the quilted tall jar cork and I put my jellies in that and that's way that's the one way I know that it's it it's for jelly and not for anything else. Unfortunately, the store that said they had it in swamped them for these. This will work in a pinch. Like I said, if you're new to canning, new to jellies. If you're going to do jellies, you're going to want to buy your jars probably in the springtime because that's when those type of jars will go really fast for people that can fruit jellies like grape, cherry, raspberry, peach will go really fast. So get those jars early. You can find the big quart ones that you'll see me make my sauce in the fall, you can get those pretty much year round. And those sometimes will sell out more during the pandemic when people were home. That's when people were like, oh, let's can because we have nothing else to do. So I'm gonna put you guys down for a minute and I'm gonna explain a few things with canning. If you're new to canning, welcome. We're going to answer questions. If you guys have questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll get to them. I will explain as much as I know about canning as possible. Let's get started. Now, the first thing you want to do when you get your jars, and these will work for, for your canning. I'm going to bring them in. They have a little decorative thing. So these will actually work in a pinch for making jelly or jams. And the first thing I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to move you up for a second, is what is the difference between a jam and a jelly? Well, jellies are smooth, made with fruit. You can do a raspberry jelly. You can do almost every flavor. There are some exceptions. Apricot, peach, pear, and apple would be the one exception. Although you can make an apple jelly, you just have to boil down the apples to the point of disintegration and then you use the juice from the apples to make your apple jelly. So you, apple jelly is usually smooth. Grape jelly, smooth. You can do raspberry jelly, smooth. You just strain out the seeds and make it more into a liquid. I don't have raspberries, so we're not doing that. What we're going to do is we're going to do a peach jam, which will have chunks of fresh peaches actually in it. So I'm going to put you guys down for a minute, back down where you were. You're not going to necessarily see my, my face. You're going to see my big tummy. And we're going to get our jars all out. And that's the first thing you want to do if you're new to canning is get your jars ready. And you might be wondering, well, Joel, how are you going to do both, both the peach slices as well as the, the jam? Well, it's very easy to do this because you need to sterilize your jars before you even use them. And by sterilizing, you're not gonna hand wash them. You can do the sterilization one of two ways. You can run them through your dishwasher on the hottest cycle that your dishwasher has. 
And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to put you guys back down again as I explain how to do this. When you do this, if you're new to canning, what you're going to do is you're going to take the lid off. You're also going to take the top off. All three of these can go in your dishwasher to be sterilized. Yeah. Now, if, you're, if you've canned in the past, but it's been a minute, if you have any of these that were left over that have not been used, Go ahead and use them. Every year, and I'm going to bring you in close. Every year that these get used, you need to throw them away and buy new lids. You can keep the jar and you can keep the band. As long as the band does not rust, this is reusable. But these are not. These lids are not reusable. They need to be discarded Every time that you open a jar, you're going to throw this away. And then in the next season, when you go to can, you're going to want to buy your, your lids. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take all of these off. And it's always good to sterilize all of your jars. Even if you don't end up using all of your jars, go ahead and sterilize them. That way when you need them, they're already sterilized as long as you put the lid and the, it, it, once they're sterilized, as long as you put this back on and put the lid band back on, you can still use these. So, and I got a dozen jars. Usually, Ball will sell them by the dozen. They very rarely, very rarely will you be able to find them in individual jars, unless you go maybe to the antique stores, or if you get lucky in, in a, at a garage sale and somebody's getting rid of some that they've already not used or don't want anymore, you can find them in the individual. But the first time you you can you're going to want to do this for all 12 of your jars now can these be used for something other than jelly yes they can these are quart size so they're pretty big and you want to keep in mind when you're doing the recipe that you're looking for quart size and not pint now they do make they do make the jars in different sizes. They make a half pint, a pint, a half quart, a quart, and then you go up into the gallon. We'll talk about the gallon in the fall. That's what I use when I make my tomato sauce and my peeled tomatoes for the fall. We'll get into that when I do that. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my big dog out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and place these on the bottom of the dishwasher. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Okay. Okay. Do you? Well, yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to see this. But I'm going to put all 12 of these on the bottom. And this step is not optional. You have to sterilize the jars when you when you can or you make any sort of jelly, the jars have to be sterile environment. Otherwise, they're not going to seal and you potentially can get really, really sick. So, make sure you do this with your jars. And I do this every time I can. Now, do you need to sterilize these? No, you don't need to sterilize the bands because the bands don't come in contact with anything with the jelly, but the lids definitely need to be sterilized also. And I just put those in my, in my, uh, holder in my thing. Jasper, move out of the way. Move out of the way. And I'm going to put the dish soap in. Now, my...
my dishwasher has a heavy heavy cycle which is what I'm going to use to serialize that and I have the dishwasher on you're going to want to let it go its full cycle including the drying cycle now you can put the bands off to the side you're not going to need them for a while I always I'm going to turn you guys around so you guys can see I always keep the box that the jars came out of so that everything stays together. I'm gonna put the bands in right now, in here. So that's done. Now there are a few other ingredients that you're gonna need for jellies and your, or jams. And you're gonna want to read a good recipe when it comes to making jellies and jams. The first thing that you're going to want to get is you're going to want to get a pectin. And this is a premium fruit pectin. It has the some directions on the back right here. And you can get these at most supermarkets. Normally where they wherever they sell their canning supplies, you'll be able to find this with them. So most grocery stores in the summertime will carry the canning supplies. You're going to need however many boxes or however many jars that you're going to want to do. So one box of this will fill eight eight ounce jars. These are a little bit bigger because they're quart size jars and I believe they're 16 ounce so they're double. So one of these will do four jars. Two of them will do eight jars. Now, I did buy some um, bread and butter um, pickle mix that we're going to do later on once my cucumbers start to get into se growing season and grow more. We're going to do those. Now, this is optional, and this is wax. And what the golf wax, you can use it for multiple things. What this can do is it can seal your jellies and I will show you when I do this what we do with this. I usually use this more when I do the, my raspberry jelly versus a preserve but we'll see which way we want to go and it actually tells you the instructions I'm going to pull in close back here and you can you can use this if you don't use it all save it you can reuse it you're not going to reuse the wax that was in with your jams and your jellies. You're gonna throw those out when you use them and discard. And then if you have any left over, you're gonna use you're gonna use whatever is left of this. So right now we're gonna take a step back. This is gonna take two hours to sterilize. So I'm gonna stop the video we're going to go right back into the peach slices and we're going to make the peach slices right now. So stay tuned for the jam session of the, the video later on.